what's up guys we're back again with another hair tutorial this one comes courtesy of eva wigs they sent over this gorgeous reddish ginger colored lace wig with the dark root i'm absolutely in love with her and the bonus is she is a full lace wig it even came with the elastic band installed off camera i did decide to go in and bleach the knots i thought that that would make it a great or even greater install i did slightly over bleach and i'll talk about that in just a moment but this is what the wig looks like again i bleached the knots washed it conditioned it allowed it to air dry off camera and this is pretty much what we have at this point I am going to use some zigzag scissors. I'll be sure to leave them linked in the description box. The reason I like these are because it kind of gives that zigzag effect. If you've ever seen a wig installed face to face, you can kind of see that line of demarcation of where the wig starts. This kind of just helps to camouflage the wig into your scalp a little bit better. So I do like them and I do recommend them. I did not pluck or tweeze anything at this point. I'm just going in and doing a quick install. Let me know if you guys would like to see a series of specific hair tutorials where I come with the wig already installed and then I go in and just do a specific video on how to install, specific video on how to tweeze, specific video on how to curl hair, you know, specific video on how to cramp or wand curl. Typically I will go in and do like the entire install and then you'll see the start to finish install but i know some of you may just want to see specific things so let me know if that's something that i should start doing here on this channel in the meantime i am installing this wig section by section we are going to be doing a deep side part with a huge bang i thought that would be a great compliment to this look also we're going to be making sure that the hairline blends and all of that so you'll be able to see all of that in this video as you guys can see, I did go in and see what it would look like with the center part and then I went ahead and flipped the part to the opposite side. Here I had it a little bit high up so off camera I did make it a little bit more deep by making the part go a little bit more to the side. Feel free to do your parting however you choose. I do love to use a wax in order to lay down the parting area and kind of just get rid of any frizz, any flyaways, and it always works well for me. If you choose not to do baby hair, I would recommend that you use that same wax stick along the entire hairline, brush it in, kind of brush it in the, the hair in the direction you want it to go. And then you can use like the electric hot comb to go ahead and sew that in and smooth out any frizz and it will look absolutely gorgeous. But you know, your girl loves baby hair. So I went in and I just did simple baby hair. I honestly didn't want to cut or trim the hair down in the front. So I'm just kind of using what I have. I'm using an edge control. Um, this kind of has a more slick hold than the baby hair i'm sorry the wax stick does and it kind of does a little bit more so i'm going to leave the one that i used here in the description box typically i would use a mousse and mousse is pretty much what i've used for like the last year or so i started off with edge control i'm back with edge control i kind of go back and forth i like the end result of a mousse but it is water-based so if you just installed your wig and you use like a um, holding spray to install your wig it will kind of sort of lift overall i feel like there are completely different effects between using a edge control and using a mousse like i said before i would prefer a mousse i just like the end result a lot more but you get a controlled a little bit more controlled styling whenever you use an edge control so again i go back and forth but of course a mousse is my favorite now here i am doing the deep side part i feel like with this part you almost have to have that electric hot comb a flat iron just won't do it when it comes to the lace you really really want to get in there take a look at the parting and how amazing that looks and blends of course it is a little lighter than my complexion which is to be expected you can use a lace tint i can go in with powder there are so many things that you can do but again because we switched the parting from one side to another there is a lot of body and movement there so you kind of want to flatten that out mm -hmm. 
So here I'm going in on the opposite side and making sure to make it match by doing the sideburns on this side. Again, this is something that you don't have to do. And if you do choose to do it, you can definitely thin it out. Typically, I go back in and thin mine out as well. It's just, you know, in the beginning, there's so many steps when you install a wig that sometimes you may be too tired for one thing or another. But I definitely think you can thin that out. I did just put a little bit of that edge control at the tip of that bang just to kind of cancel out the flyaways and make sure that it lays kind of flat and smooth I still have a little bit of more work to make this flat using the hot comb you can also use a little bit of hairspray which you see I use there and just section it off in small sections and go in and press out that root that way it'll lay super flat in the direction you want it to go I did do a lot more to make it look flat but again I did that part off camera just to you know not have you guys waiting for too long and I think I did a fairly good job from here all that's left to do is to pretty much straighten out the ends and then go in and add maybe a little bit of powder or concealer to make everything match and look good I did go in and use a little bit of hairspray I also added a scarf around the perimeter just to kind of let everything lay flat I feel like this is the secret weapon a hair scarf when doing hair you just kind of gotta let it lay flat on its own naturally here I'm using a foundation powder that is maybe like a shade darker than my complexion. I find that I like this one because it doesn't come up too red. Um, sometimes you may want something different. Each lace is different. So what works with one lace may not work with another, but I think it worked good for this one. And this is pretty much the overall result I got. I did use a heat protectant. Of course, I should have used that um, along the parting, along the lace, but I'll always forget until it's time to straighten out the hair I did use the chase method and I honestly I didn't get it as bone straight as I could have this was kind of just like a rushed situation to get to my end result and it looked amazing it actually looked flawless but of course you can go in in smaller sections and make it look even better okay so really quickly this is the finished results I went ahead and I just did a simple swoop hairstyle I thought that would be really cute for this look my idea was to either do curls or a deep swoop and I wanted to make sure I had the baby there, baby hair there popping as well. I'm going to keep this one installed for a couple days so like tomorrow I'll be able to either do my little Louis Vuitton bando or my little Fendi one. This one might be even cuter because it has the colors in it and kind of just put it here and it'll be cute or I can just wear it as is. The hair is super long and beautiful I did bleach the knots and I did kind of sort of get the bleach in the root I feel like you really really can't tell but I did kind of over bleach just a little bit and that was my mistake because I made the bleach a little bit too thin so this is how I'm going to be working it and of course it'll be really cute if you bring it all forward like this and kind of add a little bit of layer also the parting came on this side but I'm not sure it's because I'm left-handed or what it is but I always like my parting on the left side a little bit more I just feel more comfortable that way when it comes to styling and all that um, that's just like my go-to side but my install is super flat and everything is a-okay with this one so I hope you guys love this quick and easy tutorial this is a simple easy look and even if I want to put it back into like a low ponytail or you know twist it up around the house or do a bun I feel like this is a low maintenance hairstyle where you can rock it for a couple days and you really don't have to add extra heat as long as you go ahead and wrap your hair at night so let me know what you guys think of this one again i'm probably going to keep it in this bun because i'm about to get in the bed thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check this wig out i have it linked in the description box also i have a link to all the products and everything i use to complete this look also don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed Thumbs up this video if you are loving the hair tutorials. I'm trying to slay all month for you guys here on the YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications. We're definitely coming back with some family content soon. Since we are in quarantine, I do want to do a couple of vlogs and stuff just so you guys can get an update on the family and see what we've been up to, especially here in the house in quarantine. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!